Hello everybody and welcome back to Brood War, where we are getting close to finishing the Protoss campaign. Congratulations, Executor. Your success has brought us the promise of hope against the Zerg. However, we face a new threat within our own ranks. In your absence, Judicator Alderis and an entire legion of Kali survivors from Iyer have begun an open revolt against us. Of course they have. By the gods, this is ill news indeed. Why would Alderus betray us so? He and his ilk believe that it was wrong to have abandoned Iyer and consorted with our people. Their prejudices have driven them to perpetuate the Conclave's sins against us. Even now, Alderus and his loyalist Templar forces are preparing to attack our citadel. I can scarcely believe this. As if the Zerg were not enough. Matriarch, are you certain of this? All too certain, young Templar. Executor, as Matriarch of the Dark Templar and custodian of this world, I hereby order you to terminate Judicator Alderis and quell this untimely uprising without delay. There will be no dissent among us while the Zerg are poised to strike. There's something amiss here. The Matriarch has always been a wise and gentle soul. Though there is some merit in her decision, this is very unlike her. That may well be. But right now, we have a friend to kill. May I do forgive us. Okay, so we need to kill Alderis. Well, let's see how that's gonna go, shall we? <laughs> Okay, so merge Dark Templar to create Dark Archons. Okay, they have the ability to MC. That's cool. Should be advised, Executor. Our forces are divided. Alsderis has taken control of our Templar warriors and arbiters. It is possible that he may even send Archons against us. Fear not, comrades, for we have Archons of our own. Should the dire need arise, all Dark Templar may merge to become Dark Archons. Though we sacrifice our warriors in doing so, only the might of the Dark Archons can match the forces of Aldaris. Okay, so our Dragoons are kind of spread out here. We appear to have... Hang on, there we go. Everybody right up here. Excellent. We appear to have Aldaris here here, and here. Not sure which one's the real one. Let's make ourselves a few more probes, shall we? We have a lot of minerals down here. I think one more probe into gas, and maybe, I don't know, five-ish more probes mining, at least. There we go. Let's go ahead and get ourselves Dragoon attack range as soon as we have enough minerals. I feel like that'll be a pretty important thing. I did get plus one ground weapons researching right away. Okay, Singularity Charge, and come on down here. We do have access to Faster Zealots, which I think will be probably handy as well. Plus 50 Dark Archon Energy. Okay, so our defenses are pretty mediocre at this point, I would say. We should consider moving this probe up here. I'm building a pair of pylons up here. Something along the lines of that. And another group over here. There we go. So go ahead and build a pylon here. And a pylon here. Okay, now you can go mine. Once those pylons are done, we're going to get ourselves another, mm, maybe three more probes. I think that'll be a decent amount of probes. And then we'll start pushing in up this way. We do see that they've got reavers. I have to wonder if we can build carriers. If so, that would be really handy. We're kind of going into ground forces in terms of our tech right now, though. So there is that to note. Okay, go ahead and mine, and then this guy I'll have go build cannons. So come on up here as soon as you're done constructing. Right 
now. Get up here. Okay. Let's get a few cannons up. And let's start working on ground armor, level one. Just to be safe. Hello, there's an observer. Okay, that observer is just gonna die. I think two cannons will hold this side-ish. Oh, hello. We need our DTs down here. Ooh, there's an Archon here too. Okay. Get down here, guys. That Archon isn't going to last long against our Dark Templars. Losing that cannon isn't a big deal. I don't care too much about it. However, I would like to construct another cannon here, and ideally here, just to help defend this. And then the same thing up over here, pretty much. A group of several cannons. Our DTs were able to hold off that attack pretty nicely. And we should probably start working on teching up pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, we'll have the minerals soon. What? No, I don't want to build a shield battery. <laughs> okay. We'll have this cannon right here. Can we still move past there? Uh, with small units, we can. Okay, so back here, let's build ourselves a pylon. There we go. And let's think about building ourselves a Templar Archives or a Stargate. Yeah, let's, let's do a Stargate. We can get a Fleet Beacon. I don't know if we can actually get ourselves carriers, but we do have Dark Templars. We have a Templar Archives already, and we can't get regular Templars. So we can't get regular Archons, only Dark ones. And I have noticed that regular Archons seem to have much lower shields, or Dark, dark Archons, that is. Okay, so I don't know what most of those do. <laughs> we do have our Stargate coming in. Which is excellent. As soon as our Stargate is in, let's go ahead and think about getting ourselves... Mm, I mean, we could use a robotics facility. Let's go ahead and drop it, just in case. We may need shuttles, we may need reavers. We can actually build carriers. That is intriguing. Let's get a fleet beacon up, then. Excellent. We will be needing gas. And if that's the case, I'm going to start upgrading our air. And I'm going to kind of let our ground upgrades languish a bit. Because I kind of just want to spam out some carriers. Nope, oh, we're under attack up here. I don't think that attack is going to succeed too much. Mm. They might get some damage. Yeah, they got some damage down. But it's okay. They lost a whole lot more than we did there. So I'm going to go ahead and build an extra pair of cannons up here. Just because I was not happy with our cannon performance there. So let's put a cannon up here. And then we'll rebuild this cannon. And then we'll build a second Stargate. Excellent. Fantastic. Now, where were the carrier upgrades again? I seem to have forgotten. Was it in the observatory? That would be a little weird. But we'll build an observatory just to be safe. And we need to be getting ourselves some more gas, for sure. We can start building our first carrier once we have our gas. We are, of course, going to be needing a whole lot of pylons. So let's go ahead and put up a pylon over here. Come on, probe. Uh, that's what, that's an interesting path. But we'll put up a second pylon right here. Excellent. And I'm going to actually hop a fourth probe into our assimilator here. I feel like we have enough income from our minerals, although we're going to need to expand eventually. Um, but I, I want more gas income. Yeah, that feels good. I like that. Okay, let's start getting our first carrier. Our ground forces are going to primarily be used defensively then, with that being the case. Excellent. This is a much stronger defense now. 
We do have our observatory here, which is not... It is, it's exactly what I thought. Um, maybe it's in the robotic support bay? I can't remember where the carrier upgrades are. I thought they were in the fleet beacon. But these are scouts and corsair upgrades. Maybe we just don't have access to them. It's possible. But we'll find out. We've got our robotic support bay coming in. Like, this has reaver upgrades. Scarab damage, faster shuttles. Yeah, that's not what I'm looking for. So I think we just don't have access to those upgrades right now. But that's okay. Hello. Their dragoons have such long range. Oh, they have a reaver up top. Get up here. Get up here. Kill that reaver. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a pretty devastating attack right there. Can we build up here? No, I thought not. Okay. Well, we'll just have to rebuild. That's fine. There we go, and we now have ourselves a carrier, so let's build ourselves some interceptors and start warping in another carrier. Excellent. In the meantime, our Protoss plating is still in progress, so that's pretty good. Now we could be spamming Dark Archons, but I'm not sure there's a reason not to spam carriers at this point. Other than we need an expansion, but we're working on it. Okay, there we go. 3 HP left on that Photon Cannon. That's actually pretty lucky. We'll start warping in a second carrier as soon as we have the gas. Which is right about now. Excellent. And then we'll strike out and do a bit of scouting with our three carriers. Once we have a bit more upgrades and once we have interceptors for them. Let's see, we don't really need anything there... We can always transition into Reavers later on. That's not a problem. I don't think upgrading Plasma Shields affects anything to do with our carriers. I don't think it affects our carriers or our interceptors. I could be wrong on that, but that is just my opinion on how it's felt thus far. But we definitely need to be considering an expansion. We're mining that out pretty quick. But let's get this carrier coming in as soon as we can, which will be two more right now. Excellent. And we'll get some interceptors, and let's check the state of Protoss plating. That is still on the way in. Okay. So we need to find ourselves an expansion. There is no doubt about that. So let's go ahead and strike out with our two carriers here. Well, actually, this one is still heavily in progress of building interceptors. Let's wait for our third carrier. That'll also get us Protoss plating. Oh, we need gas for that? Okay. Now we have the gas. Fantastic. Okay. Let's start getting interceptors here. And let's strike out with three carriers and see what we can find in terms of expansion opportunities. Because we need an expansion. There is no doubt about that. Hello, here's some gas. Yeah. This is what I'm looking for right here. Easy to get to. I like it. Let's use this probe here. And come on up here. I do want a pylon up here. And we know that they have access to flying units, so we may want a couple more, like a pylon cluster here, here, and maybe like one back here to protect our mineral line. But let's just get this pylon warping in here, and we will start this ASAP with a nexus here. And an assimilator, we will be needing that. We'll put up a pylon over here, and over here. This is exactly what I was looking for, though. Come on up here. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I kind of don't want to put a pylon in there. It's a little awkward. 
I think we're fine. So I'd like a cannon here. And a second cannon here. And then we'll put up two cannons up over here. One here and one here. And then we'll just put up two cannons over here. One here and one over here. Excellent. How much damage did they do down here? A surprising amount, actually. But we'll get our second cannon here. And our Nexus is still warping in. We should get some interceptors here. And we're a bit low on minerals right now. But we can transfer some of these... Whoa, okay. That was an interesting little stutter. We can transfer some of these probes up, assuming they can get through this, and I think they can. So come on up here, probes. And we will also build ourselves fi five additional probes uniquely from this site. Excellent. So we are definitely short on minerals right now. But we can do something about that. I'm going to have four probes in this gas. All of these probes will be mining. There we go. And we do have these carriers here. We should go ahead and get as many interceptors as possible. And I think two more probes here. There we go. Now we've got an expansion. I feel much more solid in terms of our economy. There's four in the gas, so these four will all go to mining. And we'll use these carriers to see if we can't find ourselves yet another base. There's also this bridgehead here, which is kind of fascinating. Hello, what is this? Not sure what that is. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you can go ahead and do that. We'll have this probe. Oh, hello. Look at this. Another base. Ooh, that's a solid one. Okay. Fantastic. And we can set up some very simple defenses right here. I like it. Let's scout out up over this way. And in the meantime, I would like... Oh, hello. Build another cannon right here. These scouts are rather numerous, actually. Get up here, guys. Okay, they are attacking these cannons now. So let's start warping these cannons back in. Excellent. They're just going to wipe themselves out on the cannons. That's fine. This cannon will be up very, very shortly. We're going to lose this cannon, maybe. Actually, I don't think we are. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, we did lose it. Okay. And our carriers are here too late to do anything. <laughs> That's fine. I want you to come over here and build a pylon at this bridgehead. There we go. And then we will set up a couple of cannons over there. I see a cannon here. That's fine. We will very soon be pressing forward. For right now, I would like to queue up a couple more carriers. There we go. And I'd like one more probe here as well. This probe is not going to be returning home. This one is going to go grab this base down here. But first, we need a little bit more minerals. So let's get a cannon here on this bridgehead. And then finally, a second cannon right over here. Uh, we can't fit it there. Where can we fit it? We can fit it here. It'll have to go there. Okay, come on down here. And in the meantime, we'll bank up some minerals for that expansion. And we'll have these carriers come out over this direction. We should definitely be getting air weapons, or rather air armor, level 2. But other than that, we'll bank. Uh, get out of there, guys. Get out. There you go. Okay. We don't want to attack this quite yet. We do want to attack it soon. There's a second bridgehead right here. We're going to want to hold that. Okay. What else do we have up over this way? A third bridgehead. Oh, they've got a dragoon here. Kill that dragoon. They have a second dragoon. They have an archon as well. Kill that archon. 
Nice. Okay. That was a lot of damage on them and not a lot of damage on us economically. Fantastic. I do want to see what's in this corner, if anything. It kind of looks like nothing. Yep, nothing. Okay. Carriers, I want you guys to park right up over here. We have a new carrier as well. So you can come on up over here as well. Fantastic. And you can go ahead and build a nexus right here is, I guess, the best place. And then a pylon here. Just a single pylon for now. Oh, that poor zealot. And then I want a pylon right here. Okay, they're trying to launch an attack. It's um, going to go mediocre. Oh, actually, they're attacking down here, which is going to go fine for them. But I would like another pylon up here. Mm, alas, it is not to be. We're going to have to fight off this attack first. Come on, guys. Get down here. Hold this nexus. There you go. Now get back up here. I want a pair of cannons on this bridgehead. There you go. And then I want a pylon over here. Yeah, see off that dragoon. Get out of here, dragoons. Okay, excellent. And then this probe will build cannons, if we can, over here. We did lose this pylon, but our nexus is here now, which is great. So let's go ahead and start building ourselves probes here. And I'll put up a cannon right here. And then, ah, uh, we can actually fit one right there. Fantastic. You can then come on down here and build a pair of pylons down here. I want you to build an, an, an assimilator right there. Where's our probat? Did we lose our probe? We may have lost our probe. Yeah, there's a reaver here. We lost him. Okay, that's fine. I want you to build a pylon here. Excellent. We do have another pair of carriers, and let's get two more coming in. Queue up interceptors for them. And they can come up and join our other interceptors. You can go mine. You can build a pylon right here. Excellent. And then we can get just like a row of three cannons here. Should be sufficient. I don't want to put too many minerals into this. So something along the lines of there. And then as soon as this pylon is in... Actually, we can do it right now. There. Excellent. We are definitely going to be needing more probes in this base. So let's get a few more probes. Let's make sure all of these have max interceptors and they don't yet. We need more minerals for that. That's fine. We will be attacking very, very shortly. We're banking up huge amounts of gas now, which is great. To the point where I kind of want to prioritize putting probes on mining right now. Uh, this one can go ahead and go into gas, I suppose. That's fine. We are going to be needing to grab Air Weapons 3, so let's get that started. Excellent. This one can also go into gas. We're done with gas over here now, and we're definitely going to need a few more probes. Um, I think at least one more beyond this will be sufficient. There we go. So we're still mining in our main. Our first expansion is doing okay as well. Fantastic. And we've got these carriers ready to go. Go ahead and queue up some interceptors for them. And we need, what, three more carriers in total? That's not bad. We'll go ahead and queue one up, since we've got the minerals. These two probes, no, no, these two probes can go ahead and mine. Excellent. Now we have enough pylons to population cap, so that's great. We can queue ourselves up another carrier soon. Now, to be precise. Air weapons three are almost done upgrading, so we're almost ready to just start overrunning these guys. However, it is that time to put a cut in. 
So, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Get these guys mining. As soon as this guy pops out, I'm gonna set him mining, put in a cut, and next episode, we will attack them. There we go. Oh, come on. Come here. There you go. There you go. Okay. We will attack them next episode. See you all then.